Hello, Biotube. For MPG, we got some standard figures now. And of course, they are Diaclone repaints. So anybody who is worried MPG was a drastic change in direction, it's not, it's just a brand refresh. Now, I know we would like to see some more standard molds, because so far the line has only produced combiner molds. I'm sure there will be some in the future. Until then, this is what we got. Earthrise Optimus Prime finally in the correct color scheme. Is it too little, too late? Considering the Studio Series 86 Commander is just a little more than a month from being revealed, it does seem like quite odd timing, to be honest. The mold still has all of its other quirks, of course, but the colors are right this time. And hey, it comes with a correctly colored mainframe, too. And Jazz, of course, because he is second in command. There are some people who have said the mainframe's legs are orange, but that is wholly necessary and able to transform into Teletran 1, which seems to have a lot of detail on its screens. It is funny seeing the Earthrise Optimus in the right colors. If only they had done so the first time, I think a lot of people wouldn't have had much of a problem with it. I do remember there was a lot of people upset with the yellow eyes on the first renders we got. Of course, they went back and fixed that, and for some reason made his inner legs gray. Now that they've given him the deco of the core class Optimus, he does look a lot better, but again, it seems too little too late. Especially since the upcoming Commander class will most likely have better proportions and the ability to point. Not to mention have a fully featured trailer, of course, which even the original Earthrise did not. The other day, I found this video of myself in 2018 finding Kireno on the shelf at a store in America, of course. And you know, Hasbro had just bought Power Rangers, and that was pretty cool, and I was like, hey, this is going to be a future Power Rangers season. So I thought it was neat at the time, and I don't know what the price was, but decided to pass on it, because I figured, you know, I'll be able to get a cheaper version later. Of course, when Hasbro makes their own version, which was going to be soon, right? eventually, right? Little did I know. Not only was it going to be more expensive, but it was going to do a lot less and just be a brick, just like it was back then. And of course, the Hasbro version had the added bonus of not having any other figures in the line. And even better, not that there were any toys of the Rangers anyways, but the suits weren't even featured. Because, hey, the showrunner didn't want to deal with Nine Rangers. So he adapted Nine Ranger, of course. Imagine being... Hope you liked it. Links below.